welcome back everyone, Twishes here, and I am back yet again to check out a brand new toy line. A toy line of which I told myself, you're not doing this, Barney, you're not going to lick that man's windows, and yet... Here we are, because this is the brand new Jack specific 4 inch The Simpsons line. There is also a 2.5 inch line. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm tell it just, it's not going to happen. We're going to stick with the 4 inch line, and that's, that's where we are. Who knows what will happen in the future. But the first wave includes Groundskeeper Willie, and he looks pretty darn cool. The Simpsons right there on the yellow couch. Largely a white box. You're going to see Bart. You're going to see Homer. You're going to see Marge, Maggie, and of course, Lisa all going crazy all over the box. I totally dig that. On the back side, you'll see the figure you're about to open and enjoy. There's Willie going to town on his bagpipes. You even get to see Snowball 2 or 8 or whatever they are on, along with every other character within Wave 1. We'll get to those in just a few. Here's the barcode. Like I said, you can pick these up at Targets now. And look forward to my coverage from San Diego Comic-Con 2024. Jack Pacific will have their Thursday panel, and we'll be talking all about the new Simpsons and Marios and Sonics and I'm sure some costumes too, but let's stick with those, right? <laughs> And next up, we have Springfield's favorite bus driver, Otto. And he's just on a break from delivering the pool with the Epsom salts to the old folks' home. But on the backside, the box itself, everything will be the exact same. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and pick up Otto. Next up, we have Bart. Not Bort. We're sold out of those. But Bart Simpson makes his Wave 1 debut. Again, it's largely going to be the same. Show the barcode in the store to a clerk. He'll scan it, he'll tell you how much they got in the back, and just tell them which ones you need. Because you're definitely going to need a Homer J. Simpson. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is my favorite one out of the line. He comes with everything you need for a Homer. He's got a box of donuts. He's got a half-eaten donut. This is awesome. I'm very excited. Here's the barcode. If you need them, I'll save you some time. Head out to the store and grab them right now. But watch the video first, just in case. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the entirety of Jack Specific's Wave 1 of the brand new 4-inch The Simpsons line. Oh, I mean, woohoo! And while I got all you Simpson maniacs here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, do all those fine things that that little clicky button is telling you to do. And uh, just prepare for some Simpsons action because here's everything out of the packaging. And I love that for 13 bucks, yeah, that's what Jack Specifics delivers. That's what I like to see. $13 action figures for the Simpsons because that's where I'm honestly at if I'm gonna buy Simpsons action figures. With Otto, he comes with his guitar. It's not a double guitar, it's just a, it's just a guitar. But that's where the simplicity of Jax can really lend itself because it's supposed to look like a cartoon. It's just two-tone plastic. It looks pretty darn cool. And yes, he can hold it no problemo. In fact, you can hold it to where it looks like he's strumming on that old guitar. So there you go. That auto is perfection. That's really all you need to do. These Simpsons figures have a lot of articulation to them without looking too mechanical, but I like the fact that they've really captured every element that you need for each of the specific characters. All their little attributes, all their little accessories like Otto's headphones in his ears, those are there, his cap, his overbite, the teeth, his wild hair, you've got the wire that goes down to his tape deck. That is awesome. It's just, hey, that's all we really need for 13 bucks, and they've achieved it. Now, the hair is going to knock into the arms and kind of push him down when you try to move him, and you're not going to get much head articulation, but he does make up for that in the arms. You have single jointed elbows. He will spin at the biceps slash shirts. Plenty of rotation in the hands, and they hold the accessories slash weapons that each of them come with. And I have to say, again, at the price point for what I'm looking for in The Simpsons, and I wasn't looking to collect these, that is the perfect amount of articulation. He spins and even has a little bit of an ab crunch. Well, we'll say waist crunch to him. So maybe if they ever make a school bus, you could get him in there. But unfortunately, the legs won't go up that high. 
they kind of kick up just about that much. So not a whole heck of a lot. He'll spin at the shorts. He also has single jointed knees and then he will spin at the shoes as well. And again, he has peg holes on the bottom, which is a nice touch. Totally dig that. But it's fun posing out Auto Man. Again, I hear all the jokes. I hear his voice. It's perfection. Jack Specific nailed Auto Man. But did they get the rest of them right? So with groundskeeper Willie, he comes with a shovel. And yeah, that's the perfect accessory for Willie because he holds his accessories. He can get him posed like he's just digging up Springfield Elementary, right? <laughs> he also comes with a set of bagpipes. It's really simplistic in that cartoon sense. You got the reds, the greens, very light paint with the golds, little accents here and there. It's just one singular piece. And much like Otto holds his guitar, Willie holds the bagpipe. So if you already started a band here, that's pretty darn cool. And he looks good a doing it. In terms of Willie, this version, we'll just say with the color of the overalls, is more of his modern look. He kind of had blue slash dark blue green throughout the years. Now he just has full on green. So that's fine. That's a nice update. He says little black bucket shoes it's it's cartoon perfection the backside you got his pockets you get to see the rest of his overalls the head portrait all of the head portraits across the board are really well done and i like willie's articulation i think that you get enough you get the arms going off in some cases i had some paint blotches here and there but i took my fingernail and scratched them right off so really no problems with the paint. He'll spin at the bicep. He's got single jointed elbows within the shirt to the skin. And then the wrists will go up, down, left, right. Plenty of articulation. Now, he doesn't have anything in terms of an ab crunch. He will simply just swivel. And I know a lot of people are going to go, oh, man, look how bad that looks. They gave you articulation that I really didn't need. But there you go. As corny as it looks. He's got single jointed knees. He'll kick out about that far. And you got some boots slash shoe articulation. So again, that's pretty much all you need in terms of articulation for a willy. <laughs> Phrasing. Bart Simpson himself comes with the main accessory you'd ever need for Bart Simpson. It's his skateboard with his purple wheels, his teal trucks, the wheels spin. You've got the green with the red stripe down the middle, and he's even got the peg so you can stand him on it. Again, this this is fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun with the price point. And then just all the fun of the Simpsons of the old episodes, at least for me. Bart can hold his skateboard. He can wave at you. And you can get him pegged in onto the skateboard and have him riding around Springfield, dodging all the major characters. And, well, right before Maggie and Marge run him over. But, yeah, that's just perfection that's bart simpson right there and speaking of bart the one caveat to this figure i will say is that if you look at mine dead on <laughs> the pupils are a little bit off in that sense i'm probably gonna have to switch this one out eventually when i find another bart simpson because that one pupil right there is really going rogue <laughs> other than that it's a really nice looking Bart Simpson, but I think that he suffers from being the most mechanical looking because it's flesh. Yes, he has all his spikes and he'll just swivel at the head portrait, but it's really in the joints because it's flesh, yellow flesh, quote unquote, and that's how you perceive it. That's how your brain perceives it. He comes across very robotic, and that's something where I think you get a little bit more leeway with groundskeeper Willie with, as you'll soon see, Homer, but Otto doesn't have it nearly as bad as I think as Bart has it, but Bart, yes, he's very mechanical. He has some semblance of a waist slash abdomen kind of rotation. It's very subtle. He'll more so spin, but again, single jointed knees, bicep swivel, swivels at the thigh, all of that jazz, including the knees, single jointed. He's got his little cup shoes and of course he has the peg holes on the bottom to fit him on to the skateboard so while he does have that one rogue painted eye like he's on an all syrup super squishy i still like this bart and it really is just a simple fix i'm going to take it back to the store and get a new one but i like the simplicity of these figures that's really the standout appeal especially with homer's pink box of donuts yes there are 12 donuts in there, especially the one that's been half eaten because that one comes out and you have the best accessory that you would ever need for Homer J. Simpson. It is the pink donuts. 
I do wish that they would have painted the sprinkles on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and say I understand why they didn't, but just to kind of put just a little extra paint on that donut would have been ideal. But again, a half-eaten donut that Homer Simpson can hold, get out of town. That'll never happen. Well, I'm happy to say, yes, you can definitely do that. And he can hold said box of donuts to keep from Lenny and Carl in the break room and have that dozen to himself because the box is pretty stellar. It opens, it closes. That is an awesome accessory. So again, for 13 bucks, not to beat a dead horse, it's perfection because then you also have Homer Simpson himself. And he is my favorite of wave one. I like the hair that goes all the way around. You got Matt Groening's signature in there. You know what I'm saying? Peg holes on the bottom. While his arms are kind of mechanical, they're not as bad as Bart's and they won't be going all the way down. That's one thing, but that's in kind of keeping with the show. He's very rotund. So his arms are always off to the side. And if you just kind of pivot him at the elbows right there. I think that that looks pretty darn cool. So again, very simplistic, not a whole heck of a lot of paint to Homer Simpson. He's largely all plastic, but for the cuts, for the articulation points that they have made, yeah, I think it works a whole heck of a lot better than being overly articulated at a higher price point if you catch my drift. Homer can spin his head 360 just in case he becomes possessed. I like the black line work of his hair. His arms will go up about that high. He'll have some bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, and then wrist articulation. Now, he has a kind of sort of gut articulation, more so he will spin at the waist. If anything, he'll kick up about that much. I like his knees, very single jointed, but when he goes to kiss Marge, he can put his leg up if he so chooses. And then he has his classic shoes with a little bit of a spin there, peg holes on the bottom. It's awesome. I love this Homer Simpson because of the accessories. That's what makes him rock. And in terms of the scalature for this line thus far, I would say yes, all of those go together. I think that in terms of the height wise and in accordance with Bart, you're on a roll, Jack Specific. Keep it up. Now, I'm sure the main question is, how do these look in comparison to the world of Springfield? Well, I would say Willie, for example, fares a little bit better. You can clearly see the differences of the overalls over the years. Homer, that's where you're going to start to see a difference. And don't get me wrong. I love the world of Springfield. I think it still holds up. But yes, we have modern sculpting techniques and you can be a lot more perfection wise with the paint and everything else. So yes, they're starting to show their age, but they're still pretty darn cool. The great thing is though, is that they fit with this new Jack specific line. Millhouse, Ralph, they'll fit in great. And in that case, so will all the interactive dioramas. The comic book shop, for example, the comic book guy, that rocks. Even all the accessories from the previous World of Springfield. So if you've collected the World of Springfield, do not get rid of the accessories. Don't get rid of any of the backdrops. They all work. And yes, for those wondering, Homer, Otto, the larger characters, they all fit together well. It's not just the kids of Springfield. So... Yeah, that's a home run in my book. To kind of show you the scalature of Homer, now they're being kind of touted as four, I'm gonna say they're about four to five inches depending on the character and yeah, they'll really be their own thing. They're definitely more along the lines of other Jack specific lines from Mario to Sonic to Zelda, Metroid, that sort of deal, even Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong, you're great, but I'm sorry to say you're just not a draw anymore. Now. To really give you my two cents on The Simpsons with Super 7. Super 7, what they did was in league with what Super 7 does. It's a higher price point. It is supposed to be a higher quality, more collector friendly action figure. I think they did well with the reactions. That was fun to see. But 13 bucks is where I'm at as a collector for The Simpsons. 55 and up, way too high. So. That will wrap it up for my look at the brand new first wave of the Jack Specific, The Simpsons 4-inch line. Overall, they rock this. I want to see more of this. We had some kind of sort of reveals slash leaks over on Amazon Spain. We got some more deluxe figures coming. You can check my Instagram, see all those. They have 
light up features and it's it's gonna be wild so that's why i was a lot more inclined to pick these up i just thought yeah you got me and at 13 bucks a pop don't be surprised if you see every variation of homer of bart of all these characters they got to reuse the molds every single body is different so don't be mad at them if they're doing that i certainly won't be but you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything the simpsons and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I just, for some reason, I, some strange reason, donuts sound really good right now. Perhaps I'll get one while I'm at SDCC. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.